Hey, it's Mike, and today I am looking at the latest in the Godot Engine hashtag on Twitter. Um, a lot of times on the weekends, there's um, screenshots Sunday, I think, uh, that a lot of indie developers put, post things to Twitter. So you can get a lot of updates about Godot from Twitter if you look for the hashtag Godot Engine. So I'll do, I'm just going over today the most interesting ones. So. I have both um, updates on tools for Godot or plugins and also games being made with Godot. So let's get into it. Let's look at all the tools and plugins that are being de uh, developed for Godot. We have uh, Mosin with a terrain tutorial. Um, he uh, posted an update for mod modifying terrain at runtime on Twitter. So he's working on this. Um, so he's able to you're able to modify a terrain. But he has a tutorial on the M terrain plugin on his YouTube channel. So go check it out. I will leave a link to it below. And he shows you how to use the M terrain. This one you'll be able to see it in the asset library in um, in Godot itself. So check it out. Uh, we have, I can't pronounce the name, but he released a, a tutorial on his channel uh, called Ray Marching in Godot. So you can go to his YouTube channel. And I'll put a link down below to it, but all about how to do, how do you do Ray Marching in Godot. We have Harris Liu working on Cesium for Godot. This is a plugin. Uh, Cesium is also available for Unreal and Unity. So he's working on a plugin for Godot for this to bring in real world terrain and 3D models from, I think, from Google Earth into Godot. So you can bring in real world locations. So he has a repository, I think, Cesium Godot. So I found this thread on the Godot proposals, Godot engine uh, repository. So this, uh, someone asked, is, is Cesium coming to Godot uh, in last May? And then recently someone replied, Luxin0517 replied with this YouTube video. So let's, that's uh, the same guy on Twitter who's working on this plugin for Godot. So he's working on Cesium for Godot. So this is the latest update for it, actually. So in this thread, he says that uh, he is creating it. And up to two weeks ago, he's, he, he says his, his, uh, he's got a private repository for this that, he, that he's updating. But uh, so eventually it will be available for everybody, I think, to download. But right now it's just for testing, I think. Patrick Crawford. Posted an update on the Godot 4 branch of the Godot Road Generator add-on. So there is a there is a Road Generator add-on you can get actually. Um, so if you want to grab a copy of the Godot Road Generator, it's here at this uh, GitHub repository. I'll leave a link to it. You can grab the latest one and, I, and you can play around with it in Godot. Looks pretty good. Corey Pekovsik has updated on Terrain 3D. Um, and today they posted a, an update about paintable grass being available in Terrain 3D now. So you can go and paint your vegetation in. So that's pretty good. You can go and get uh, Terrain 3D 091 at their GitHub repository. At Tokusan Games Train 3D repository. So go grab a copy and you can play around with it. He also has, he ha they have some tutorials on their YouTube channel here, part one and part two of how to use it. So go take a look at these. I'll leave the links down below. And we have Mr. Elliptic, may, who made a game launcher with Godot Engine for devs to showcase their game. So it's made, it's, it's an application in Godot that you put your 
games in, in a subfolder next to it and it will detect it and be able, it'll be able to launch them right from the launcher. So good for like if you're at a conference or something, you need to set up a kiosk or something that, to um, show you, show off your games at, a, at a indie dev conference or something like that. So check it out. It's on their YouTube repository. You can download it. And if you want to contribute to this project, they are looking for someone to do a Mac a Macintosh build of this. Uh, I think you would just have to update the code to look for the app, the dot app uh, extension, the app extension, because right now it looks for exe and x64 86, I think for Linux. So right now it's it's for Windows and Linux. But if you have a Mac and you want to help it out, you can come here. You could um, clone the repository and submit a pull request if you want to make a change for the Mac. And they also want to build, they would like a build for the Mac as well. I think this here, even though it's not going to be signed or it won't be signed or whatever, it'll be, you know, you have to sign it on a Mac. The, the, you have to notarize it, but it doesn't have to be signed and notarized for this build for now and then they would put it in the zip file because right now that zip file is empty so they're looking for the mac version so if you if you want to help out check it out at this github repository now let's look at all the games that are being worked on in, in godot we have icy who's working on a platformer in godot engine so so icy is working on a game called bomb trope so this is a screenshot from it. it looks interesting. Tune shading going on. Uh, so that's one game being made with Godot. Next we have Red Thorn Interactive working on a game called Museum Keeper. So you can go wishlist this on Steam. Uh, these are some characters they've added to it. Um, they have some other updates here. Some Museum Keeper screenshot here of uh, deck dig discover decorate manage and repeat I guess that's the game loop basically and they have another screenshot here of what it actually looks like so if you're interested in museum um, simulations I guess uh, it's sort of like a strategy game I guess take a look and see what you can what can be done in, in Godot with this we have John Ward updating uh on his game called brick dangerous he's working on a side scroller retro uh looks like an indiana jones type game so, uh, we have rune and the chaikuru legacy this is a 3d platformer for godot being worked on right now looks pretty good actually we have thomas chabora working on a game uh, with Parallax, uh, the Parallax 2D node that was recently added to the Godot engine. The area, yeah, so he's showing uh, uh, how it works, the Parallax scrolling he's got working. So that's the new Parallax 2D node. And it's a game called Wing Wingwin. So here's another animated GIF of that game. So it's like a, a Mario Brothers, Super Mario Brothers type game, looks like. H, or High Pixel Dev, is working on Delta Rune fan game. So those his menus he's working on today. Posted an update for that. Looks pretty nice, the uh, screenshot he's showing. Oh, the, uh, the video looks like maybe like combat going on there too so inferno duck games is working on a, a side scrolling game their game is called solish solus machina so this is their latest update to that uh, pixel art uh, side scrolling 3d or 2d i mean Okay, we have John Passfield working on Halloween Harry. He is working on changes to it, added the drone targeting to it. Oh. 
it's a third person zombie shooter i think with it's got drones in it and you can shoot all the zombies we have zion leak which is a you can wish list it on steam and here's the latest screenshot with pepper and stonks as part of their game zion leak two uh, playable characters i guess and there they have a demo available on steam based on february started in february so it's a side scrolling um co cooperative cooperative side scroller it looks like wheel steel is a game about hijacking cars i think uh, they're working on their latest update is mirror charms they collect that when you hijack cars exchange for upgrades and perks so they're working on a driving game here mag is working on a game uh, the dc jam 2024 that's the dungeon crawler jam so look looks like they're working on like a dungeon master type game um looks like a uh, a prototype of that right there looks pretty interesting dc jam 2024 is going on right now if you click on the hashtag you'll find more entries for that but this one is made in godot so and finally we have a video about godot we have Abra with a two hour waiting for Blue Robot, the ultimate guide to the Godot verse. I'll put a link to this below. It's two hours. Uh, apparently, um, I don't know. It, maybe it goes over some of the politics that's going on with Godot Engine. I don't know. Uh, they said it's worth a watch, so go ahead and watch it. And that is it for today. The Godot Engine hashtag. I will be back again. Uh, at some point to do some more updates with the Godot engine. People are always posting to this hashtag all the time. So I look through it and to see what interesting things people are working on in Godot. So if you enjoyed this content, uh, leave a like and comment down below and subscribe so you don't miss any future updates. And we'll see you in the next one.